Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. fell foul of the end-user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means we'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I... Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary, let me just... I mean, look, can't we... <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> uh, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary Number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid all Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. And we hope the recent local waters probe will give that up to 90% next time. There were the dark times. And slowly but So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for all water? What? No, I meant... Because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. Will do. Have fun. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything... Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! We enjoyed our first instantly iconic ad campaign. God. We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. Slowly but surely, light return to the fedora. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I 
remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. I'm sorry, Professor. Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in, uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but, but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who... Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh... I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it, and I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad! Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done.
It's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Frat, it's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Timing. Oh, Senor Tinnebaum, you too. I was just hoping to watch some Sansu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all water ad only models. Ah, should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You're really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Is your face feeling tired? What is Sansu's Ashk? Yes, Sansu's Ashk. Eternal love. Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. I thought season 18 was bad, but with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. It's worth bowering through to season 36, though. That's where the plot really thickens. I'll try to check it out sometime. You yawn and a tube queue what brings you to the lounge anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes on much longer, they'll forget everything. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole social district is off limits right now, so at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? Well, I suppose it is. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Way to hold on to that grandchild's laughter. Memory marbles. The laser engraved crystal ball. Photos of memory Hey, Sai. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. How are the fishies doing? They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer, what, the slow-release phosphates and nitrogen? But we don't want to hurt fish. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the... Sai, Sai, that sounds very interesting, but what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes, sorry, Pratt. Didn't I restock the other night? 
<sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, I do indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. But, I mean, can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. We want their gills to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments to express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll love it. Well, I'll get right on it, promise. Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, here. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Oh, did you see that? Was that fish real? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ah, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes, on all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm, I guess something about exploring the planet? Didn't it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy, too? whistle again. 